Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today we are continuing on our series. This is part four of fixatives and I have two different fixatives for you today. The first one is hydroxyl and uh, there's many names, different companies put this out. So it's basically um, hydrox, um, hydroxy citronellol. Another name is like Laurene Extra, and it is in the, in the family of Lily of the Valley. It is 218 hours on the test strip. It is light. The thing, distinct, I mean, it, not distinct, I mean, it's like delicate. The thing I like about it is that it's not, well, to me, it's not powdery. It's more of a water, if I had to give it a description like that. It's more in the watery instead of powdery. I don't like powdery. Ugh, I just don't. I, yeah. Memories. I don't like it. It's not good for me. But that's one reason I like this is because it's delicate. There's, oh, when I say it's delicate, it really is not going to change your formula too much but it's gonna allow for the fixative properties. But there's going to be a tiny bit of Lily of the Valley. I see clear. I, there's a slight green. There's a, yeah, this is like a green naturalness on a spring morning with a little bit of dew and one of the descriptors there's two that are interesting to me and that's rose and melon and I could see this in a rose accord or in a perfume that has rose in it but I don't necessarily pick out oh it smells like rose petals um, again, the thing that's amazing about this is that it is delicate, like I'm having, it's not strong by any stretch of the imagination. It just is not. And it's a middle to base note. So, and I'm like, I'm not smelling much. The molecule, the molecular weight is over 200. I don't remember the number, but it's over 200. And so that's gonna make it last a really, really long time because it's such a fat molecule, but it doesn't have a lot of aroma. So it's perfect for fixative properties. This is a good blender as well for fruit, for fruit and floral together for a spring fragrance, but also for fragrances that you want to be very, very clean, this is a great, um, I was gonna say aroma, but it's a great fixative, but it's a great lender of light, delicate, um, lily of the valley notes with a tiny bit of green yeah it's just one of the reasons i really like it for all those reasons because it doesn't smell a lot there's times when it does aroma chemicals that don't have a that do have a delicate aroma to them are highly coveted and you want them and when i first started i'm like that does not make sense. Why? Why do you want that? And now I understand. 
because you want some fixative properties and sometimes you want fragrances that are very very light and airy and um, do, that are not very pungent or strong like a mm, springtime fragrance but that is super sheer see-through very very light um, that type of thing so that's one reason so now we're going to go the opposite and this is this is bornafix b-o-r-n-a-f-i-x and that is on the woody side so there we just were at the floral now we're on the woody side and this is its this is its brother to me because it does it's the same type of thing but in the wood category like I, this is at 100% and you almost can't smell it on the test strip. Um, I can and it's like a sheer clean cedar wood. Um, it is three, how many, uh, 200, yeah, 312 hours on the test strip. It is obviously a fixative and a blender as well because this does not put you in a specific type of wood. I know I said cedar wood, but it's this is a clean, clear, um, over 200. I don't, I looked up one today and it was like the molecular weight was 300 this that's not it it's this is the molecular weight of this is 200 and something i don't remember the number either but it's i know it is 200 above 200 and this could help you with i'm looking over here because i have some of my wood stuff over here um this doesn't throw you in the amber direction but you can use it with ambers it doesn't throw you in a specific wood type so you could go to the blonde woods, the older woods, darker woods, to oud, anything like that. If you, even if you're doing a very light fragrance and you need a little bit of wood, you, you can use this as well. But you can go in any, any direction. Like I said, this is like the brother to the sister um, hydroxyl that we just went over. The same thing that it does for all those florals and everything that I talked about there, the Bornifix does with the wood. And almost at the same level, there's not a, even though it's a base, there's not the molecules so fat you, it's hard to detect. So this is a great, great material to have again took me a long time to understand why I would want a material like this that doesn't have a forward aroma you just I don't know you open up the bottle and wait where is it it's so tiny it's barely detectable why you would want that and now I understand why um, it just is hard to understand in the very beginning process of perfumery to know why but so to me, these also fit in the category of worker materials because they're great blenders. They do work. They do stuff for you. They don't just sit there and smell pretty. They do work for you. They pull those, um, like Bornifix pulls those base notes of the d different woods and pulls them to the middle, pulls them up, and um, then their fixatives as well. So I hope that was helpful and gave you, you know, a, two opposite things, but they do, meaning one floral, one wood, and they do similar things within their category. And I hope that was helpful for you. And thank you very much for being here. And I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.